All right, so now we are going to kind of end the chapter with all these tectonic plates that we've talked about, what happens when they interact with each other. So up until this point, you've already kind of learned about how um, some of them move away from each other, like in seafloor spreading. So in this last section, 11.3 plate boundaries, we go over those specific plate boundaries. All right, so anytime we have a crack in Earth's crust, that is called a fault by definition. So along these plate boundaries, we can, yes, call those faults. Now, if at the plate boundary they move away from each other, those are called divergent plate boundaries. So diverge means to go away from each other. That famous Robert Frost poem, Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and I took the one less traveled by. He's talking about a road that forks off into two. They go away from each other. So the divergent plate boundary plates move away from each other. And we talked about mid-ocean ridges in the last section, and that's what's also happening in this um, plate boundary, moving away from each other. Converge. If something converges, it comes together. So at, plate, at convergent plate boundaries, they come together. So now we have one scenario left. And that is this one, so transform fault boundaries. So at transform boundaries, plates are going to slide past each other. Um, so almost imagine like, you know, you put your, your hands together, uh, like you're gonna warm them up and then you slide them past each other. That's what's happening at a transform plate boundary. Those plates are sliding past each other. So here's just a picture kind of showing you those three things. So divergent away, convergent come together and transform. And you can see here in the convergent plate boundary picture, you can have a couple of different things happen when that when those two plates to come together, depending upon whether or not it's two continental plates crashing together or a continental oceanic plate crashing together. So at divergent plate boundaries, these are the ones that we learned to, uh, occur at mid-ocean ridges where those Two plates are moving away from each other, as you can see in the picture here, under um, the ocean on the left. And on the right-hand side, this is actually what it looks like when it happens on land. Because as we saw in the one video, yeah, it can actually happen on land like we see in Iceland. And there's a couple other places on Earth that happen too. Now, when it happens on land, we call those rift valleys. So rift valleys are divergent boundaries. They're found on a continent. Um, when a rift valley forms on land, it can actually eventually split the land mass. And we see that uh, happening in Africa. Um, right here where you see the Red Sea is, those two land masses actually used to be connected to each other. They're opening up there, and then that's, that's where the water's filling in at there. So when this happens on land, we call those rift valleys. Convergent plate boundaries. So at a convergent plate boundary... Uh, where you're going to have oceanic crust involved. One of the scenarios that can happen is a trench. So a valley in the ocean floor formed when an oceanic plate subducts. Remember, subducts means going down below underneath another plate. So if you have an oceanic oceanic hitting each other, one of them is going to get pushed underneath. And you're going to get this area where it can get really, really deep. Um, on the ocean floor. This is a little bit better picture here showing you. So convergent plate boundary. Look at this oceanic lithosphere sliding underneath the other oceanic plate. And when that oceanic crust goes down underneath, it's going to get hot because the temperatures increase down there. It's going to melt. And then what you can have happen sometimes because you have this excess magma that's getting produced, you can have a volcanic island chain form right above it, as you can see in the picture there. So what happens if an oceanic plate and a continental plate collide with each other? So remember, they have different density. Oceanic plates are more dense than continental plates. So because oceanic plates are more dense, they are going to be pushed under the continental plate, all because of density. So oceanic plates subduct under the continental plates because they are more dense than the continental plate. And here's a picture showing you this one, the Andes Mountains in Peru. Uh, that's what's happening there. The oceanic plate that's found in the Nazca plate gets pushed underneath the South American plate because it's a continental plate. Um, and it up, goes up higher. Uh, mountains and convergent plate boundaries. So what happens when we have two continental plates slide 
into each other or crash into each other, we should say. Uh, this is where we can get mountain ranges also forming. So those two plates come together. They really have nowhere to go because they have the same density. So really all they're going to do is actually push up. And this is the reason why we have the Himalayan mountains on Earth, the um, highest place on Earth. So you can see what's been happening. The Indian uh, land mass that was here 71 million years ago, it just keeps moving up, 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 up. It's crashing into the Eurasian plate. It's got nowhere to go except up. So transform fault boundaries, these are the ones that slide past each other. I like this picture, it kind of shows us a little bit better here, the, the two plates sliding past, past each other. So you're going to get some certain features when this happens. One of those features is called offsetting. So you, it'll look like something was lined up before, and now it's not. You can see the creek in the picture here. You have part of it up here and then part down there. So you get some kind of odd features that happen. Here's another one, uh, something called a slick inside. It's called a slick inside because the side is so smooth on, on the um, rock surface there. So you can see it was once rough at one point in time, but because that plate has been sliding along it, it's grinding it down or polishing it essentially and making it look slick. So smooth polished surface from another plate that's been grinding or moving on it. So we have all of these three different types of plate boundaries found on Earth. So you can see A here. I have two things moving away from, from each other. What kind is that? Hopefully you just said divergent, yes. Um, B, so this is where we talked about India crashing into the Eurasian plate. They're coming together. What kind of plate boundary is that? Convergent, yes. Um, good job. And then letter C down here um, on the bottom. Um, also, I've got two plates coming together, crashing together. What kind is that? Yes, convergent, good job. Um, over here, this picture, this is a transform plate boundary. So this one is over in California. That is the very famous um, San Andreas Fault over there found in California. So all of these tectonic plates, they're not just all doing the same things. Some are crashing together. Some are coming away from each other. Some are sliding past each other. And just kind of important that you guys remember the features that, that are found on Earth because of that. Like at convergent boundaries, we can get mountains. At convergent boundaries, we can get trenches. At divergent boundaries, we can get mid-ocean ridges. So those are kind of the important things that you guys need to remember.